Hey guys, DT Gaming here. Uh, so we're gonna do a little bit of fishing here on Balea. Um, if you guys know us, I'm using my low level gear because uh, someone on my channel asked me if I could do some fishing on Balea, catching the Graylings and Browns using low level uh, equipment, so they can know how to fish for uh, these fish as well. So we're using the express fishing um Adritica Tica. <laughs> I probably pronounced that wrong. Uh three thousand. This is uh, on a medium light, which is a twenty five percent experience bonus on this um rod. And before we head out to find a spot, um always look and the weeklies, okay? And hi, what you guys are gonna do? We're gonna go right straight to where it says for grayling. Grayling is always a, is a balea fish. You can catch them in Cory as well, but more rare. Okay, here is the grayling. See, all caught in, in balea. So. Here's what other being they're active on. They're active on Spiker 2018. Now, based on my region, I will always check on USA. But whatever region you are a part of, I would definitely look in your region to see what would best for you. So I'm gonna just check it real quick. You wanna get the most out of your fishing session. See, like here, it's completely random. This lure is a handmade lure. So I would recommend just use the Spiker 2018. So that's what we're going to use. So let's change the lure to that. Okay. So I'm using a 6.2 kg leader. It's recommend using this size leader for this, uh, these type of fish. Because anything thicker, you're going to um, basically not catch a fish very well because they're going to be um well <clears throat> scarce they don't like thick leaders so the spot i'm going to show you not to fish with this setup okay is down here now you might see people on youtube fishing down here but i would advise against it okay it's a good spot for browns definitely a good spot but this spot right here, you're going to get tamens. Tamens are in this area right here. Uh, a spot you don't want to be. Uh, so, yeah, avoid this spot if you're, like, level 15 range. That spot would be more advanced um, level. Here, at this spot, uh, setting 137, which is right here, which is... G7. I'm going to be using a speed of, um, I'm going to put this at, well, actually 30, 30 speed we're looking for. We're going to do a full cast. We're going to try to aim toward the uh, left side of that rock back there. And then just going to do a straight retrieve. Be sure to set the hook when you get a fish. But sometimes it don't work, as you've seen that. I just missed that fish. The speed reel, if, if he misses fish, this recast. You can let it drift as well. Sometimes a fish will grab it, just like that. That's our first grayling. Too small. I mean, it's a small fish you really don't want to keep because it don't give you no value. But it's not like you're gonna catch a hundred um, fish here at the spot or period. You know, I never was able to uh, fill the net this fishing balea. I mean, you can fish here for. At least an hour to two hours and not fill the whole net. So keep everything you keep, uh, catch. Don't really matter.
Now, I know I started the video a little bit late. Uh, like, for example, anything around noon is going to be killing the bite rate. It's better to fish in the early morning and um, in the evening hours. You see, I'm not going to catch anything. Now, I'll show you another spot you can catch fish. If you cannot get fish at one spot, move. Don't stick to the same spot. You can fish down here on this opposite side. You're gonna stand right here. This weird rock structure back there, that's what you're gonna be aiming towards. <clears throat> You'll find browns and graylings over here. Okay, that one got a good uh, pull to it. Just gonna up the friction a little bit. Now you're gonna catch fish like these chubs. Not the type of fish you really want, but if you're low level, any fish is gonna do good for you because, well, you're looking for silver. The only fish I recommend not to go for is perch. They're not going to make you that much silver. Even the big perch are going to make you much silver. Okay, so this spot is actually working really good. Like I said, this is a 7259. I'll show you on the map here in just a moment. This is right here, which is a G5. Our tree speeds go 30. Now it's not a very expensive setup. If you do a lot of bream fishing on Old Bird, you definitely build for uh, this setup. At the end of this video, I would uh, see how much all this stuff costs, so you guys get an idea. This set should definitely hold a uh, big brown and grayling. And not to mention, you can get a good ca uh, cast on this setup. You see how far I'm casting, right?
you know, sometimes while you're really and you can sit there and pause for a moment and reel again. Sometimes a fish will grab at the uh, when, when you pause. Careful with the plates. Um, they are here. Um, they don't bite as often, thankfully. But these plates will definitely ruin your day if you get too big of a fish. Because they will uh, bite through your leader. So another method of retrieve, when you're doing a straight retrieve, right, you can actually hold the shift button, which will do speed up. That actually also uh, works with uh, attracting a fish. Anyway, let's go sell our fish real quick and we'll... Uh, I'll show you how much this set costs. Always check the cafe, okay? Because, like, for example, there may be a grayling order up. Or a brown. Not always, but they, are, they can be here. Just Or check the cafe before you even do your uh, fishing to get an idea. If there's anything that you can catch. Didn't really make much silver. I'll tell you that right now. Because I caught a few markers. But 23 fish. Right, I mean silver. So the most. The silver I got. Is from that green like there was 13.4. The chub is 6.1. Like I said. The, the chub. You will get silver. I wouldn't uh, ignore them. They do give you silver if you're when you're low level. It does work out great. Okay, so the setup we're using is a late SSL seven eight medium light. Okay, then the this right here Express Fishing. Um, I'm not gonna pronounce that again because I, I screwed that up. Uh, this so let's look at these two items right here. That's where the money is gonna be the most. So, rod, spinning rod, we're looking for late. Right here. This is 614 silver. That's not too bad. And then your reel, spinning reel. This is the one I got right here. I would go with this one, the size 3000, you cannot Fit a six thousand on that reel. I mean that pull. This is the one you want. So seven hundred some silver plus two hundred and seventy three. You're looking about nine hundred and fifty to a thousand silver. And then for the lure, you just go here the spinners. Chances are it might be sold out here. I can't find it. Like right here. That's why I can find it because I put the dots. See, everything is out of stock. That's what I mean. This is the ones that you want right here. So, if you have a hard time finding the lure, just check the free spot uh, ones here mosquito and winding. Most likely, you might find unwinding if you're lucky.
So anyways, these are our 48 silver. So all together, we'd be spending about 935 silver. Yeah, see, you can get the lure right here in winding. So yeah, that's uh pretty much for this video. Uh, hopefully, this video will help you guys get um the fish off of um Balea. I will do an active spot video for you guys. Uh, so, so stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Bye, guys.